hi guys welcome back to the channel we are still in the west i am having an amazing time in bafusam the headquarter of the west region of cameroon i'm going to sing this forever until this series is over so you guys met with etel ndukong etel and she took us around the market in the last video so today etel is taking us to the happening place in bafusam i've always thought that Bafusam is just this very quiet transit place where you know vehicles are just moving from Yaoundé to Bamenda passing through Bafusam but it seems like Bafusam has happening things we want to go have a taste of the nightlife in Bafusam and do you know what we are taking you along to she calls it Yach Center all right so come with me to Yach Center and let's go top life okay Hi guys, I just met with Ethel and we are twinning! Yay! We're all in red! Hi Vicky, happy to meet you again! Same here, same here. So, where are we? We are at the Ash Center, the biggest supermarket in Bafusam. The biggest supermarket, supermarket in Bafusam. They have an atrium, they have banks around, it's at the center of Bafusam. So, let's go eat. Alright. There was. This is one of the amazing things about fast food. You don't get to sit in a restaurant and wait for an hour to get your food. As you just get there, the food is fast. Just pick, carry and go. Now the downside to this is that you may pick lots of germs when you eat food that is fast. So last last year, just pick what you want. Germs Something. or hunger. Uh. It also says this is the biggest supermarket in Bafusam. Oh, now you're saying that it's a small town. I'm not saying that it's big. We have to enter again no, somewhere. Yes, we're going to enter somewhere. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> <Let's go again. laughs> ah. What is this? For ice? How much? And is it? It's two. Wait, it, I was like, this place is too small, and she was like, no, it has some creases and crevices. So, this is like the second place. We're going to the third place to see what it looks like. Yes, it goes right inside. Do you don't go inside us. there. So guys, a bit of food you see, like the chicken is 2,000 francs. How much, how much is the compliment? 600 francs. The compliment is 600 francs. <laughs> My God, 2,600 francs. This is super expensive. I was in the market in the last video with Estelle and we tried getting a couple of stuff. Very expensive, Bafusam. Oh my god. Ethel, how do you do it, Bafusam? My dear, I just have to manage and cope with the situation. I cannot do anything. That's the Bafusam, as you can see for yourself. It's really challenging. Because some people think that Bafusam is better than Yaoundé, but that's, there's no difference. You notice that some things here are more expensive than in Yaoundé. So I'll always choose Yaoundé over Bafusam because when you look at Mache Funzi, if you visited Mache Funzi, you understand that things there are very cheap compared to Mache A, Mache B, Mache C here in, in Bafusam. So that's it. Because in December, last December, 
2021 you notice that a plate like this will be around 4,000 5,000 if you are uh, purchasing it now for 26 it's cheaper but which is still very expensive you can see it's really really challenging but what we do so I just want to know is there anything that is affordable in Bafusam if you're trying to compare with other towns in Cameroon Yes, the only thing, uh, most of the things affordable here are things that are coming from the farm immediately. Things like uh, vegetables. Vegetable in general is a bit cheaper than plantain because if you want to get plantain at a very cheap price, you go down uh, total in the evening around 6 around six p.m. That's when you're going to get it at a very cheaper price. But when it's already in the market, the upper part of the market, it's very expensive. Hi guys, trying to get away from the sound. So last week I was here, I was here at this emergency, I was going to Yaoundé. Guys, I got here at 8 o'clock. By 8 o'clock I was here and there was a queue. Hey, as in the line start for years, so going for moon. There were no buses. I finally left Bafusam by 4. Like I stayed in the park the whole time. I kept hoping that my bus was going to come. So today I am leaving again, I'm going to Yaoundé and i left the house at 6 a.m so when i came i did not want to pay the vip because vip leaves at nine o'clock i was like no i'm going to get one of the regular buses and then maybe i, I could leave by by seven or so it's like 8 30 now my bus is not here and then it's 8 30 the vip is here my bus is not here yet Hey Jesus, it's like I made a wrong choice. My bus finally came at 10 a.m. By 10.30, we took off from Bafusam to Yaoundé. And this marks the end of the West Store. If you're watching this video and you've watched any video from the West Store, let me know which video was your favorite. And let me know one particular thing you learned from this store. Thank you. got to Yaoundé thanks be to God and the first thing that welcomes me is the red soil there's rain falling all over Cameroon like it's raining cats and dogs in Bafusam and in Douala too but Yaoundé ha dry season dust okay
invite you to another edition of the festival hunt that will be coming up in December at the Red Cross Hall in Yaoundé on the 15th. Join us as we raise our hands to worship God. Thank you. God bless you.